um, um, what what needs to happen to to to, to mend the, 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 the those silos and make sure that we are we are all in sync as government in, 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 in how we work. I think what is important is transparency and collaboration among the government department because we found that one department is excelling in doing ABCD. They've got innovation that is needed. And we find that the other department is sitting somewhere. It does not know what is happening on the other side. And they are busy trying to look <coughs> for solutions to a problem that has been already solved. So government should begin to speak to each other. We must be seen as one government, not as like different entities which are serving different needs from different perspective. That's what is important, that government should begin to speak each other from us as ministers, must speak to each other, directors and going down, so that we are able to be efficient and effective in terms of responding to the needs of our people and making sure that we don't reinvent the wheel because solutions are already there. Some of the innovations are sitting in like uh, shelves there because government says we don't have money. That's also one challenge so that we are able to come up with innovation and we are able to implement whatever innovation that we come up with. But collaboration and transparency and working together as government departments, that will help us greatly. Yeah. Go going back to, 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 to the question of, um, of um, public service and in mm. terms of, of, of the money that is spent, there's this issue of um, <coughs> um, 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 budget cuts yes. that, that is happening. Um, you know, what what action is the department taking to mitigate the impact of these budget cuts and, and, and the impact that they are having on, on service day? I think budget cuts should be viewed holistically because it's not something that just happened. It's something that responds to our priorities as a country. Like now the seventh administration have three priorities. So if we say our priority is to deal with issue of unemployment, store and like poverty, want to professionalize, want to deal with corruption, that means majority of the money that we have should go to these three priorities. So if then you prioritize this, basically we are saying we are putting more effort to this and that is would be at the expense of course of the other what you call uh, departments. So it speaks now to efficiency as to how we maximize and make more from the little that we have. But if you all understand as to the fact that budget cuts are not necessarily something that go and wake up today and say, I'm cutting so much, because some will complain and say, OK, but we are cutting so much from important services like uh, education, police. But if we have taken a decision to say the issue of infrastructure is our priority, we've got one source of money. So if we say so much should go into there, that means so little will go into the other part. Yeah. So that's how we should view it. it. It's not something that is very bad. It's just that we have different priorities as individuals. Those that, are, if we say we prioritize health, those that are health conscious, you know, would be happy because we'll be getting more money. But those that are self-sufficient, they won't they'll say, oh, no, 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 because our priority is infrastructure, you know. So it's just that it should be viewed holistically, not as something that means you just wake up one morning, you cut fund for it because that department is not important. That's not the case. Okay. You know, Minister, when, when, when you, after a long day of, of, of work, mm. what, what, what are some of the issues that are giving you sort of sleepless nights when it comes to, to DPSA? I don't have sleepless nights. <laughs> I sleep peacefully. <laughs> yeah, but, yes. but what are the issues that... that there isn't up? an mm. issue that gives me sleepless nights as far as the department is concerned. Mm. But what I can say, if it happens that I don't have a sleep at all, mm. it, it's my deep desire to see the change that I want to, Im to effect mm. to the South Africans. Mm. That's what can give me sleepless nights. In terms of the department and its running, no, no, no. I've got an, a team that is able to... <laughs> deliver yeah, that's yeah cool. and yeah it's actively supporting me and we share the same vision so i don't have issues in relation to that okay.